back to our channel இந்த வீடியோக்குள்ள போ முன்னாடி நீங்க ஒன்னும் நம்ம சேனல்ல சப்ஸ்கிரைப் பண்ணலாம் மறக்காம சப்ஸ்கிரைப் பண்ணிக்கோங்க வாங்க வீடியோக்குள்ள போலாம் வெல்கம் பேக் டு அவர் சேனல் அண்ட் திஸ் வீடியோ வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு சால்வ் தி டுடேஸ் டெய்லி சேலஞ்ச் ஸோ ஐ ஆம் அனேபிள் டு போஸ்ட் ஃபார் மோர் தென் டூ டேஸ் ஐ திங்க் ஸோ ஹேவிங் சம் ஹெல்த் இஷ்யூஸ் ஸோ தேட் ஐ வாஸ் அனேபிள் டு போஸ்ட் so but still in the time some people have commented their daily challenge and daily test code in my other videos comment section so i would like to thank you them for sharing their codes and people get uh, more detail about the code yesterday so and today i am going to solve the daily challenge question so the question is folders and files count okay so what we must do is we must accept n string values which represent the location of the n files in a computer and we must find the number of folders and the number of files present in each root folder as shown in the example output like this you can see like that the names of the root folder must be printed in a sorted order okay you can see that the input is 12 so that 12 locations are being there and from that documents one folders no files and downloads one folder two files and videos two folders one file like that we must we must uh, fix in the output like that okay there's the explanation like this here so okay so i am going to solve this one using the python language so from collection library okay some f- we are going to import the default dict okay we must import the default dict and now i am going to create a function count folders and files okay the values are n and the paths okay this is in the paths and now the root data okay root data is equal to okay, using the default dict here default dict of lambda and opening this and here folders is to let's set like that and comma files is to zero okay and now here for path in paths for path in paths the paths is equal to path dot strip okay we are going to strip this one using the backslash and dot split again using the black slash here okay so yeah here this parenthesis ends and here not okay and now the root folder will be equal to parts in index 0 okay and now if len of parts is greater than 2 that is if there is at least one subfolder then the root data mm, of the root folder cross the folders dot add parts of one okay else the root data root folder of the files will get incremented to 1 okay and now here for root in sorted of root data dot keys okay keys is a function okay and now the folder count will be equal to len of root data of root k 
across the folders okay and now the file count will be equal to root data of root of the files okay and now print f of root minus the folder count of the folder I'm opening this again yes if folder count is not equal to one else like this is just mentioning like okay and now the file count of the file yes mm, if if file count is not equal to one else like this okay i think this condition might correct or else we will check it later on and now we will get the input so n is equal to int input dot strip and the paths is equal to input dot strip and for underscore in range of n okay and count folders files function n comma paths so now let us run our code and check for the output i think somewhere we might get the error yeah name root date is not defined in line 14 root data okay there is root data okay let me run the code once again mm. okay okay zero files Yeah, I think I have got the okay only the yes is causing the error here so there's a error in this print statement I hope so print f root of then folder count folder and yes if folder count not equals the one else okay this correct then file count file yes if file count is not equals yeah this also correct i hope so then Okay. Yes, wait a minute let me check with it now I have the space of this and running the code once again so yeah you can see that our code has been successfully passed without getting any error and whenever you people doing the code keep on doing it more consistently so that you can get this off oh guys thank you for watching this one and i will see in the next video thank you